welcome to edupedia world in this module we will learn about wholesale price index numbers wholesale price index numbers wholesale price index numbers are those price index numbers which measure the general changes in the wholesale prices of goods in a country the index is restricted to commodities which are mainly traded on a wholesale basis like wheat rice edible oils minerals etc the wholesale price index numbers indicates the changes in the general price level unlike the cpi it does not have any reference consumer category it does not include items pertaining to service like barber charges repairing etc what does the statement WPI with 1993-94 as base in 189 in March 2005 mean. It means that the general price level has risen by 89% during this period. The commodity weights in the WPI are determined by the estimates of the commodity value of domestic production and the value of imports inclusive of imports duty during the base year. It is available on a weekly basis. Wholesale price index numbers also act as an indicator of changes in economy. In India, the first wholesale price index numbers are compiled in 1947. Commodities are broadly classified into three categories that is primary articles, fuel, power, lights and lubricants, and manufactured products. Primary articles. It includes those goods which are obtained by exploiting natural resources like wheat, rice, pulses, fruits, vegetables, minerals, etc. The number of items in this category are 98 and the weight are 22.02%. Next we come to Energy articles. In this category, goods like power, coal, petroleum products, electricity, and fuel are included. The number of goods in this category is 19 and weightage of 14.23%. And last, we come to manufactured articles. It includes manufactured goods like sugar, edible oil, textile, machinery, and equipment, paper and paper products leather and leather products, chemicals, fertilizers, etc. The number of item of this group is 318 and weights given to them is 63.75%. It means that manufactured products have nearly is two-third importance in WPI. Wholesale price index is the only price index in India which is available on weekly basis with shortest time gap of two weeks. Due to this reason, it is widely used in business and industry and by the government. It is generally taken as an indicator of inflation rate in an economy. Next, we come to uses of wholesale price index. The utility or uses of wholesale price index number will become clear from the following points. First, the index number is helpful in forecasting the demand and supply conditions of the commodities in the economy. If there is increase in wholesale price index, it means the demand of commodities is more than their supply. On the other hand, a decrease in wholesale price index shows a situation of excess supply or demand for goods. Next point. It helps us to understand monetary and real value of macro aggregates like national income, total output, total employment, etc. Monetary value is based on prices of the current year and real value is based on prices of the base year. For example, an increase in national income in a particular year may be because the same output is sold at a higher price. This can be known only when we divide national income by the wholesale price index. 
if the resultant value is the same as the base here, it would imply that the real output has remained the same or that there has been no growth in the economy. On the other hand, if the resultant value is greater than that of the base here, it means that the economy is growing at that rate. Next point, the wholesale price index is used to calculate the rate of inflation in the country that is the rate at which there is general rise in prices which further indicates the fall in purchasing power of money. WPI number helps to find out the rate of inflation in the country which can be calculated as the weekly inflation rate is given by weekly rate of inflation equals to xt minus xt minus 1 divided by xt minus 1 into 100 where xt is equals to wholesale price index for t a week xt minus 1 is wholesale price index for t minus 1th week the yearly inflation rate is given by yearly rate of inflation equals to WPI of current year divided by WPI of previous year into 100 under bracket minus 100 let understand the weekly inflation rate with the help of an example. Uh, for example, if T equals to 2, that is week 2, the rate of inflation between week 1 and week 2 will be x2 minus x2 minus 1 divided by x2 minus 1 into 100. This is how we will calculate the weekly inflation rate. Now we come to the fourth point that is useful in cost evaluation of various projects major projects like construction of an airport or shopping malls are long-term activity where huge sums have to be spent in future the original estimated cost of projects will be increased as prices rises over the time to estimate the revised price the inflation rate has to be considered which is indicated by the wholesale price index Wholesale price indices are useful in computing the real cost of such projects. For example, if WPI for a year is 105, this means that the initial cost estimate of that year will need an upward adjustment by 5%. So these are some of the uses of wholesale price index. Now let us understand wholesale price index number with the help of an illustration. If wholesale price index for week 1 equals to 800 and for week 2 is 880, we have to calculate weekly rate of inflation. So for the solution, we will write the formula that is weekly rate of inflation equals to xt minus xt minus 1 divided by xt minus 1 into 100. Here t is equals to 880 and t minus 1 is equals to 800. So, we will put up the values that is 880 minus 800 divided by 800 into 100, we will get 10%. So, 10% is the weekly rate of inflation. This is how we will calculate it, weekly rate of inflation. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.